Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro. We are on to the Manage Resource Drift follow-alongs, and there's three things we wanna check out, replace, import, and refresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our folder here, the, the Manage Resource Drift. We're going to make a new file, as always, call it main.tf. And I think the contents here is gonna be pretty much the same as our last one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. And, uh, We'll type clear, we'll back our way out. I'm gonna just do terraform init. Okay. And uh, the idea here is that we're just going to provision this resource here and we're just going to replace it. We'll have to try to import something and do a refresh. Maybe we'll do replace import or we'll do import last just because that one is a little bit more uh, challenging. Um, so we'll just let this initialize here and then we will uh, deploy it and then we'll try to replace it. Great, so that's all good. So we'll do a Terraform apply and we'll just say auto approve and let that go. Great, and so that is uh, done there. And so what we can do is go ahead and replace that instance. So the reason we would wanna do this is let's say our instance became damaged or degraded or let's just say we, in general, just want to replace it. And actually, I think through some of the follow-alongs, we had to use replace in some instances. So we've already kind of had some experience with it. But the idea is we just type in Terraform, uh, apply, and then we could just do replace. And then we give it the AWS instance, um, like its resource name here. So we just say my server. Now, this used to be called Terraform Taint. And depending on when you set the exam, uh, you know, if it's, really close to when I uh, when I launched this course, then you might still come across questions that are Terraform Tate, but now it's just this hyphen replace, uh, replace command here. And so what I can do is just hit um, enter. And I actually don't really want to execute this. I just wanted to show you it because I want to move on to the refresh one, which is gonna take a little bit more time here. Uh, and just if we scroll on up, look what it's doing. It just says, we're going to replace this. So destroy and then re recreate it. So just a great way to, to reinforce uh, that. Now notice when you use the hyphen replace flag, you're only able to provide a single resource and that's just how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and here type no. Now let's take a look at um, refresh. So a great example of this is if we make our way over to the VPC console and we go over to EC2, what we're going to do is just um, go ahead and destroy this instance. Okay, so somebody came in and let's say, you know, you're working on your, uh, with your team and they and you told Junior saying, hey, we, we need to destroy the server because it's costing us a lot of money. And they go, they go, okay, and they're not aware of all the Terraform infrastructure or maybe there's an urgency to uh, tear it down really quickly. And so they use the, uh, the UI to do that. And so here I've terminated the server, but the problem is, is that my state file still thinks that this, uh, this exists. So we'll give this a moment to uh, get into a shutting down stage. There we go. And so now what's gonna happen if I do Terraform apply, and I don't know if we have to wait a bit longer for it to destroy there, but it's going to check the state and see whether that server exists and it's gonna tell us what action it's going to take. Okay, so um, there's no changes, so we'll just wait a little bit here, okay? So I'll just talk to you here in a moment. I'm just going to wait for this to shut down, okay? Great, so after a short little wait, you can see my server is now terminated. So what I'm gonna do here, uh, once my console is responsive, sometimes it just does this. I have to like click a few times to get it to uh, react, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, write Terraform apply, okay? And we're just going to see what happens here. So notice that it's trying to add the server because the server is gone, right? But the thing is, is that we actually want the server not to be recreated when we run this again. And so the problem is, is that um, our state file is not telling the truth. It should be updated to reflect the fact that that instance is removed. I think this is where we could use the Terraform state remove to actually remove it uh, as a resource. But another thing that we could do is use the Terraform refresh. And actually now it's called Terraform apply uh, refresh only, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to check the actual state against uh, the actual, or sorry, the actual, the state against the actual resource. And notice it's just going to remove it because it says, hey, you removed this from AWS and I, this is your intention, right? You actually want it gone. So let's go ahead and say yes to that, okay? 
So yeah, there we go. And we'll move on to importing, okay?